Hey folks, Jonathan again. Wanted to show you number three. And uh, number three is a 1953 Delta or Rockwell Delta 17 inch drill press. Uh, definitely a good machine. Uh, this was another one that I acquired. This one probably 20 years ago. And uh, I was pretty young. I needed, uh, I actually had a job going on doing some uh, bars for the windows and doors on a, a uh, salvage yard. And pretty big salvage yard. And I needed a drill press and I needed one quick. And of course, I was pretty young, didn't have any money. So I traded a 1956 Lincoln Capri for this. And. Uh, now it was a two-door car and it needed restored and there was no title but uh... it was still a pretty nice car and you know all my friends thought i was crazy for doing it but uh... the car is long gone and the drill press is still here drilling holes and i guarantee you i've drilled thousands of holes with this press and if you're going to find an old press i would say that there's there's probably none any better than this and uh... you know it's been flawless for for many years and uh, just uh, keeps right on working and uh, if you if you're looking for a drill press that would be one to find I highly recommend one I don't recommend trading a uh, 56 Lincoln for pray for one and of course, most everybody's heard of a Mercury Capri, but in the 50s there was Lincoln Capris. But and you can see it's, and of course it was that way when I got it. But quite a few holes in the table. But and uh, this is Morse taper number two. Uh, and of course it it didn't come with a chuck, but it came with a lot of bits. And uh, you know it's always been a real good drill press and haven't had any trouble whatsoever with it a real well built machine and uh... and it's seventeen inch and for anybody that don't know if you split that in half you know seventeen's your full swing but half of that would be from the center of the spindle to the to the beginning of your your arm there so it's pretty simple you see a few of these being restored and and uh... This one here, just like I said, it just gets used and and uh, probably overused. And that's one of the reasons I bought the Camelback is to maybe give a little relief for this one because uh, you know uh, we do a little more with it than what we should probably and and uh, abuse it, but it still uh, still keeps right kicking right along. So. If you want a good vintage drill press, I, I'd highly recommend a a, uh, a Delta, and uh, we'll show you another machine later. Thank you.